Hey guys, it's Chaotic Modder again, and today I'm going to show you how to overclock your 9800 GT graphics cards. Okay, a few things you're going to need is obviously a 9800 GT. And the second thing is a nice little app called EVGA Precision. You can get this at the following website, evga.com slash precision. I'll put a link on the description. Just push the download precision button and make account and then you're pretty much set. This thing is the easiest way to overclock I have ever seen. So let's just open this up and uh, when you open it up a little thing happens on your bottom right and you just click that and it goes and it opens up like this. So uh, let's start this out. As you can see this is the default settings for the 9800 GT and depending how your rig is built up uh, it will vary uh, temperatures but for me in my rig and my room temperature my, uh, standard like an idle is 55 degrees Celsius. So, uh, today we're going to be mimicking the super clocked version, and if you'd like, you can put it up a little bit more. So, let me tell you the exact specs of the super clocked. The super clocked has a, a core clock of 650, a shader clock of 1900, and a memory clock of about 1000. Okay, so make sure it's on your one GPU, unless you're using SLI, and then do the first one, then the second one and let's start with turning off auto for your fan speed and tr and turning off the link okay for okay we just let you guys know do not follow the fan speed exactly it's gonna be different for whoever like wherever your rig is and however your room temperature is so just you have to toy around with this a little bit so let me just bring this up to 650 655 is good and the shader clock I'll bring up to 1900 and the memory clock let's bring out 2000 okay and uh, for me I like my fan speed at around 60 for the super clock version just click apply and on the left you see how this little chart like shows you everything it even shows you the shows you a few more specs if you scroll down and once everything's stabilized, this will be a really good version for you. Uh, you'll be able to play Crisis. You'll be able to do a lot of things with this. And uh, by the way, when I was first overclocking this thing, I did it a bit too far. And I went to go see a movie, for example. The movie would freeze over. And uh, if this happens to you, you've done the same thing. Just restart your computer, go back to EVGA Precision, and click a Reset All. And then you'll be good. So as you can see, the temperature is already going down because I like to keep my graphics card pretty cool. I like it idle around 50, maybe 40, uh, maybe 49. So once this is done, I'll show you how to bring it up even a little bit farther. Um, I've successfully gotten up the core clock to 671, the shader clock to 1942, the memory clock to 1115, and for me, that fan speed, I put it at 70. So everything seems to be stabilizing. I'm guessing this is going to be around 50 since it's still going down. And everything seems to be stable right now. So let's move on to the a bit over the super clock version. So I'm just bringing the core clock to 671. The shader clock to 1942.42. The memory clock to 1115. And the fan speed to 70. Um, in this state, the graphics card is pretty stable. And I like mine that way. You can always bring it up a little bit more if you want to risk that stability a little bit. But uh, this is how I do it, and I'm guessing this would be the same way you do it. So once you just did this, just do apply and let everything go and in case you guys were wondering I have three 120 millimeter fans in my rig so it keeps my airflow pretty good and the temperature is still going down I, I'm guessing it's going to go all the way to 47 fan speed is 70 and everything looks pretty stable um, if you want to test it go play a game after this you, you'll see a slight increase you'll pr see a, a pretty good increase in like performance and everything will be good. So, by the way, this also does work with SLI because if you have two, you have a number two here. Or even if you're doing tri uh, tri SLI, you'll have a three here, and you just do every single one separately. 
Okay, this has been Chaotic Modder, and I am out.